Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill, and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So, some masculine cards tonight. Oh, I see more people popping in. So, let's get started. Hi, Barb. So what kind of happened was I was watching Jennifer McGuire and she was doing this like window cards. So I said, oh, what a great idea with so many of the great dies that we have. So I did one and here it is just the way she said to do it. But I feel it's unfinished. So I'm really not like a fan and oops, let me take it up a little bit. So that was like everything changed. Okay. So I'm not doing those little window cards. We're just making some masculine cards. So this is that same card, but done the way we always do it. Hi, Linda, Karen. Zida and Patricia. How is everybody? So this paper, background paper, is the paper from um, the golf. Don't ask me the name. It's golf. But it's got like a lot of great uh, patterns on the other side. So if you don't have the golf set, but you like to make some masculine cards, it's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue this and put it aside. And I'm gluing this down to basic gray. Knight of Navy would have looked awesome too, to bring it out. So I'm going to put that aside. And then I've already like cut him out, um, but I do want to do my little attachment trick because it's easier to color. So if you didn't catch me the other day, what I do is I take two-way glue and just put some down, let it dry, do a lot of blowing. Hi, Sue, Darlene. Hi, Judy. Well, hopefully, hopefully that's dry enough. But then when you're coloring, it makes it easier because I know we all turn. Want to get dizzy? Here we go. Woo. Okay. So we're going to do some, you know me, fast coloring. I can't help myself. Um, what do I want to do this one? Oh, what? Do I think I put them away? So I have pretty peacock, light and dark. So we're going to start out with that. And I know I can't get close enough like the other girls do until I buy a new camera. Oh, I'm telling you. All right. And then we're also going to use light and dark so saffron and some brown which i have to the side of me okay so let's start out i mean this is really an easy image to color because they have like all the shading done so i just go with the dark go with that dark and just scribble in not even not even being like neat it's too easy a little bit down the side there and some by the pocket okay then we take the light we all know i hate that side I only use it once in a while. 
and then I just color everything in. So who else besides me couldn't buy any toilet paper? Am I the only one? I can't be the only one. Hi, Kathy. Well, this is definitely easy coloring, Saida, if this is what you like, because you don't get easier than this. And then just touch up like wherever you left white spaces, because I'm trying to look at comments. Hi, Fran. So everybody like has a supply of toilet paper? When you scribble, it looks beautiful. Thank you, Jackie. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and scribble the shirt. <laughs> so there's a lot of shading on there, but here we go. We're just... Put it... Yeah, that is the dark. It just looked awfully light to me. Yeah, there's just so much shading that... Whoa, I went into his, into his arm. We don't want to do that. Okay, and then with the light, so let's scribble that in. Up into the collar and his sleeve. And then there's a little piece up in there for his other arm. All right, so usually I do skin tone first, but I didn't. So for skin tone with Stampin' Up, although we do have, let me see if it's handy dandy. Uh, that's Petal Pink also. This is ivory so this is actually the one so i'm gonna do a little bit different so i'm taking the petal pink this is the dark and i'm gonna use whoops um is that his arm i can't see my lighting isn't good when i'm doing this all right so i'm gonna take Oh, I like the pink better. All right, so I'm going to use the ivory as, as, ooh, and then I'm going to take the light and blend that out. That's like really dark. And his arm goes there. All right, and then his neck. Well, I guess he's not as tan on his neck. Right by his elbow. Okay. That looks good. Oh, his fingers. Oh, goodness, his fingers. Why are people messaging me? Okay. And then a little bit of... Uh, light crumb cake for his glove. And his belt. Oh, and his shoes. Crumb cake on the shoes. So, see, there's not a lot of coloring. And I think I get to do him twice tonight in different colors. So, some dark for his hat. Actually, that was the light. So, we're going to do that again. This time with the dark. And then we're going to come back in with the light.
and I forgot his ear, so I'm going to go back and do his little ear and that side of the neck. Okay, so basically, uh, except for one thing right here with the gray. Actually, two things, because I didn't do the grass. <laughs> Let's see if I can find a three thing. So, nothing much. And then just lift it up. Now, if that had been a little drier, it wouldn't have even made a sound. So we're going to bring back the card and we're going to just glue him down there. Did I get some on his club? I don't think so. Okay. So he goes there, and then I pre-did this and cut it out. Happy Father's Day. And then, whoops, I just shut my phone because my phone was sitting on this. Let's see if I can get it back up. Back up. Um, yep, there I am. All right, so we're going to glue this down. Hi, Linda. Try and get it straight. Okay, and then this one, make sure I have the right side. Just like a little dab will do you. And just glue that down right there. So it's a, you know, pretty quick card. We all like quick cards. I'm just a little low on uh, masculine cards. So I figured, why not? Everybody always likes masculine cards, needs ideas. Okay, so there's that card. And then if you wanted to see the Jen McGuire way again, there it is. So what you actually do for this is cut through both of your pieces. Oh, and what I did with the piece that came out of the um, DSP, which was that, I just colored it black and I'll use it on another card at some point and have some kind of night scene. Although, I don't know if you really golf at night. Maybe sundown. Maybe sundown. Okay. Next card. A little bit more coloring. Okay. Let me get this ready. So there's our card base, five by three and three quarters, and then soft suede, it's going to be backed on. <clears throat> so this time I used, let's see, by the dock. We're going to use the boat. We're going to use the boat. Oh, and... Oh, I don't want that one. Where'd it go? It's hiding. I got it. Okay, so we're also using, what set is it? Do the impossible. We're going to use that little swimmer. 
bet you couldn't guess that. Okay, so I'm going to put this about there. Should work. And then we're going to take the swimmer. And put the swimmer right there. Okay, so for the swimmer, I took a little light poppy parade, didn't even do any, you know, shading with two colors, did the cap and the, I'm going to call it a tank top because I haven't decided if I want this to be a, a guy or a girl. So this time I will do like a little bit of shading. Should just make them like real tan. Maybe give them some hair under the armpits. <laughs> okay, then we'll do the pink. So it's dark, pretty in pink and light and I'm gonna go over oh I gotta put the fan back on it is hot blistery so if you hear the whooshing it's the fan sounds like a grinder oh that does look like hair in the armpits instead of shading Only to me, only me. Okay, so we're gonna take soft suede, dark and light, I think. Nope, that's the bronze. Oh, here it is. We're gonna do the boat. So also very easy. I'm just going to go from the ends, bring in some dark. And then on that side. And then down in here. And then across here, okay, and we'll fill in some more. So then I took the light And with most times with the blends, it like you only need the two colors. It like blends itself and creates like a third color, kind of sorta. But really, you shouldn't like let it dry too long. Okay, so then we're going to go around there and around the top. And I kept that, that light so there'd be a difference. All right, then with the dark again, probably need to be in more. And maybe that way. Come on, focus. So I just brought the lines down there and then a little bit extra in the corner. 
and then dark in this corner. And then we'll blend that out. And the bottom of the boat. Okay, then for the seats, I took, where'd it go? I took crumb cake. Just so it like would stand out a little bit. Okay, let me just do a little bit more blending. Like right in here, it would be a little bit darker. Of course, that was the light. Let's try putting in some dark. And then I'll blend it out again. And now the reason you put the dark here is to make it look like it's going under those seats. So it gives it the dimension. want this to be dark instead of the light. Oh, I feel better now. Okay. And then I left a couple white spaces. So I'm just going to touch them up. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to come in with some different blues. I've got the blues. Uh, that's Knight of Navy. So let me move these all over. Okay, so I did Pool Party, light and dark. Let me do a little bit of dark first. So I just went around these, and it's my Pool Party and my... Um, no, I'm using Seaside, but my other blue, I keep forgetting to order the light colors. And even the little splashes, I'm going to put dots there. Then come back with the light. Hi, Judith. Hi, Echo. So... I'm going to try using the brush on these, especially since it's kind of drying out. I better remember to order it this time. I better remember. I'm sorry, I'm squeaking. I almost want to just like sponge it because this is so dry. But whether you color it or sponge it, it's just what's at hand, what you feel like doing.
So I'm just going to go up a little bit over the boat. Sorry about that, too. All right, that looks kind of watery. So then I'm going to take the, this is the one that's really running out, the balmy blue. Um, let's see what we're going to do. I'll start with the, with this one. Yeah, well, it's working right now. Maybe it wasn't this one. Let's see if the other side works so we can get it faster. No, it's just out of the, this. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> just saying. You see what? It's just not the same as when they're brand new, they kind of work. Look at that. All right, so I need a new one of those. So I'm gonna take the light seaside spray, which has a little bit more ink in it. And I'm just going to keep going over that until it doesn't have those lines. Much better. Whoops. As soon as I hit the edge, it, I throw it off. Okay. So then I'm going to take these um, little birds right there. And this saying, bird, I'll always look up to you no matter how much I've grown. Oops, I still need that. I just sent that flying, no. Okay, so then I'm gonna stamp one, two, three. And then what I did is took the crumb cake and just colored over the blue on those birds. Look at that, I'm using that side. I can't believe it. All right, and then we're gonna glue that down. Yeah, stay up.
So just mat that onto the soft suede and then onto the card. Thank God for wiggle room. So there is that card. And then I have one more. Only if you really want me to do it. I'll show it to you first. Here it is. And then it opens that way. Kind of like one that I did the other day. Yes? Want it? All right, let's do it. Hi, Deb. Okay. So we take the card base, if you remember. Well, if the blends could be refillable, they'd also have to have, like new brush tips that you can put in because the brush tips on these do not last long enough. And that is why when I do my other coloring, I don't use the blends. So you just fold that like that. This piece is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So you could tell this is also from the Golf DSP. So just put that there. Then this piece is five and a quarter by four. I do like the blends, but I, I like the bullet point and I like them for quick coloring. Okay, so we've got that going. And if you remember the other one, okay, so this one I put through um, a die, rectangle, stitched, got it. And then this is an eighth bigger. Uh, so do I have a ruler sitting here? I don't. I don't. But it's an eighth bigger than that. And then this white piece is the same as the garden green. So what I do is mount this in there. And center that kind of, sort of. I mean, this is a little easy because you have a line to follow. Then I take this one that's going to be in the front and you just want to put your glue on part of it. And then I line it up with the one on the bottom. Over, over mama. Oh, it's good glue. Okay. So then you have this. So as soon as I color that, that's going to be there. So I'll put that aside. And I'm going to take, where'd he go? Oh, I bet he's still in the, yep, he is. All right, we'll use it right from here. Because I had that going. Um, hmm. Here's my dirty vinyl. All right, so we're going to put him
see up out there. So let me just straighten it out. Put that there. Does he need to be lower? No. He's perfect. I hope. <laughs> I think I doubt myself some. Oh, right on the carpet. Inside down. Okay, so we got him. Um, hello, where'd I just throw that? That'll work. Oh, it's right there. All right, dry. All right, so this time I used Balmy Blue. I used Light Night, I can say this, Light Night of Navy. Oh, you were looking on YouTube, Linda? <laughs> yeah, I always like do it on here and then I put it over. Okay, so again, we are going to do some fast coloring of him. So if you're watching me on YouTube, you can um, fast forward through this. How do you like that? And then we're going to go to the, I got to get rid of a couple of these. Not the light. Dark balmy blue. Oh, I'm coloring his tushy. Look at those calves he's got. Oops, I went out of lines. But I can fix that. Yes, I can. Okay, so now we're going to go with the light and dark balmy blue for his shirt. So again, there's like a lot of shading already there. And then we're going to come back with the light. And then his little piece of shirt right there. All right, so this time we're just going to use the petal pink. So I'll do a little bit with the dark. Not much. A little bit on his neck. And I won't forget his ear this time. Maybe up here a little bit. And then just color that in. And then his hand, fingers. And the rest of his neck. Hmm. <laughs> the brown. So 
So we're going to do his glove. His shoes. Just a quickie. And his hat is going to match his pants. So we're going to take the light knight of navy. Right, golfers like always wear matching. And then the dark mommy blue. And then the gray right there. And there. And the green. So we're going to Now that one's nice and juicy, so you can use it. Let's see if this side is. Not so much. And part of that is because you always end up using more of the light than you do the dark. Okay. So then I took this tree and this is from um oh gail you didn't put it away you're not that bright um let's see <gasps> rooted in nature huh, smarter than i thought i was all right let me get rid of some of these and put them in this little thing And I need a strip. A small strip. Because I know when I was just cleaning my desk, I threw one away. And that was the one I needed. That's watercolor paper. So we'll have that. Okay, so what I did with this is I took... Granny Apple Green, stamped it in the Granny Apple, and then I took a very old Stampin' Up! marker, very old, the brush side, and just tapped some of the darker ink on it. And I stamped, stamped again, and then I did it again. So we're going to stamp and then stamp again. Oh, I got a line. This time I'm going to stamp off and then stamp and stamp. Oh, that line makes me mad. Maybe it'll blend out a little bit. Okay. So then I took that light marker. That's the dark. I knew as soon as it went on too easy. Maybe if I keep turning it, I could see it like losing its, its ink.
And right in here. But you go. Okay, then we're going to take the light balmy blue. I mean, light seaside spray. And this is fairly new and inky, so it's pretty, pretty good. So I'm going to do like quick around and then I'll go back and do where I didn't get. to get right in there upside down I wasn't sure okay so I'm gonna take the bullet side and just get where I missed around him close. And then I'm going to go into this tree. And I still see the line. Okay, so that's going to... Okay, so we've got that. Then I'm going to take Happy Birthday. Where'd it go? Things like pop off my desk. They just absolutely run for the hills. There it is. Okay, so we're going to ink that up in black. And I do need to pull this closer to me so I can get my head over it and hopefully be straight. I think I'd use the stamparatus for that. Nah. Yes, there's lots of gremlins always on my desk. Um, so I'm going to take the green and I'm going to do this on both sides. I'm not doing the end yet. Because I'm going to take this at an angle like that. So I need to do a little bit more. Okay. So we'll glue that down. I'm just going to snip it here. Oh, I guess I can lift this up again. And I'm going to snip it there. Then I'm going to take that marker again and just do that edge there. And there. I should go all around it. I hope I'm not sorry. 
So I'm going to go up as far as the tree. Hmm. And then I'll do the blue. Okay, so then we're going to take some glue. Tell Ann Richardson that I say hello. She's deaf, so she doesn't hear me speaking. My adjustment, oh, maybe if I tighten this. Oh, look at that. It's not falling. Oh, there was a couple more cards. So the gremlins have been back. Nope, there they are. Okay, so I also played and made that one. Uh, like, I'm not sure, like, I really love that. And I started out with, like, all of these and more. I wanted to do, like, a whole background with them and then put that. But no matter what I did, I wasn't, like, happy. <laughs> and then I had this one. Just simple, stamp the background, a happy birthday, and put the lighthouse. So let me bring everything back. So we had this one and that one and um, oh, here it is and that one. So um, thanks for joining me, everybody. Which one is your favorite? Stacy, this one. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Thank you. Thanks, Sue. I was like, not like really feeling them tonight. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so thanks for joining me. And um, I will be back on Wednesday with, you know, my motto. I don't know what. But it'll be something. Maybe I'll, like, surprise myself. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Good night.